part of participating in East Cyber Mission was experiencing science and getting hands-on experience. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, represent the economic future and safety of our country. The students of today will be our leaders and innovators of tomorrow. To help better prepare students with the skills and experience they will need, the U.S. Army leadership is proud to support the eCyber Mission program. eCyber Mission is a free, web-based STEM competition. You know, too much I think of what happens in school are very uh, small, isolated assignments. Kids do them and they're done. And I think the opportunity to have something where kids can work for a long time on something and get feedback and they, they come into obstacles and then they refine and they, they make changes and they make improvements um, is, is a great thing to watch them do. You actually have to aim that tip right there at the well and shoot your sample in there. The U.S. Army strives to increase the number of students pursuing careers in STEM fields nationwide. STEM education plays a critical role in keeping the United States a technological leader in the 21st century. By strengthening the way students learn science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, we can help to build a stronger nation and a stronger Army. And we're very much interested in getting kids interested in science, technology, engineering, and math because they have to get that foundation very, very early. And they have to get that so that our nation moves forward. East Cyber Mission helps meet this critical need by presenting these fundamental capabilities in real-world applications that enable students to see how STEM is used every day. Since the program's inception in 2002, more than 83,000 students in 1,300 schools nationwide have participated in East Cyber Mission. More than $8 million has been awarded in U.S. savings bonds to help further students' education. The East Cyber Mission program is open to students enrolled in 6th, 7th, 8th, or ninth grade who attend U.S.-based public, private, home, and Department of Defense schools or extracurricular clubs. Students compete in teams from the same grade level and state with one adult team advisor to serve as a mentor. The teams identify a problem in the community and select a corresponding mission challenge that addresses it. The scientific method and engineering design process play an important role in the e-cyber mission challenge. Students must utilize the methodology or process to find a solution to the problem and to answer questions about the process. Why did these teams accept the e-cyber mission challenge? I accepted the challenge was in the future I see myself as an aeronautical engineer and e-cyber mission is, revolves all around engineering and you know the STEM, STEM values and, and I just thought it would be a great way to take that one step ahead of everybody else and stand out from the crowd, you know. Now that you've heard why these winning teams chose eCyber Mission, it's your turn. Will you accept the challenge? Hoo -ha! Hoo -ha!